Hello. This is the fourth and final part of the video about the Ochronic True Image program, which will show how to recover the C drive from the previously created image. In the third part of the video, we created a local disk image, saved it, and now you can be completely calm and confident that all data on the computer is safe. After all, whatever happens, there is a reliable opportunity to restore everything as it was on a computer before creating an image and absolutely without any changes. And so, let's check how it works. We will not wait for viruses to penetrate or malfunction of any program. But simply open the uninstall a program section in the control panel and ruthlessly remove several applications to show a chronic true images help in such problems. We will not spend a lot of time, but some applications will be removed after all. Remove uTorrent. and also Adobe Audition. Still. And further. It's a pity to do it, but after all, everything will be restored? Now we will close the control panel and delete everything that is on the desktop. And all from the basket. And finally, we will change the desktop wallpaper. Well, after all this hooliganism, let's connect a bootable USB flash drive with the Acronic True Image program and see how this application works. The flash drive is connected and now we are rebooting the computer. The computer rebooted and in the message on the monitor to boot from the flash drive we were offered to press the number 1 on the keyboard. Push 1. Please note, after booting from a flash card, the program may show completely different letters from the disks than those assigned by the Windows system and now we will need to identify this or that disk not by the letter, but by its memory size. A chronic was loaded and we see the main page already familiar to us, where we select the line below the second line restore and click on disks, then at the bottom right click on browse and find our image where it was saved after creation. Mark him in. OK. Now select our image in the list and click next. In the next window, select the recovery method on the top line recover disks or partitions and click next. Here we see a window where the elements for recovery are shown and we select disk image 1 with a volume of 111.3 GB with all its elements, and click next. We wait. Here we see the page where you need to select the destination of disk image 1. Select disk 1 with a volume of 111.3 GB. Now you need to mark it and mark the line Restore Disk Signature. And click Next. The program immediately offers to confirm the deletion of all partitions on Disk 1, 
where our image will be restored, click OK and opens page completion, where all operations for image recovery are indicated. We click proceed and immediately began the restoration of disk image 1. Now we see a message where the program offers upon completion of the restart computer, or shutdown operation. Select restart and wait for the recovery of disk image 1. Operation Disk 1 Recovery is completed. The computer has rebooted. In the boot menu, selecting the bottom line, press the letter C on the keyboard. Now the Restore Disk 1 is loaded onto the computer. The disk image has booted, the system has recovered. And now let's remember what we removed on the computer before restoring disk image 1 and see how this recovery went and whether all the programs and files will now be in place. Look carefully. Earlier we deleted all the folders and shortcuts on the desktop, as well as changed the wallpaper, but now everything has been restored again. Open the control panel. Then open uninstall programs and what we see here. We deleted uTorrent, then Adobe Audition, and a few more applications, and after restoration they are again in the old place. This means only one thing. A chronic true image completely recovers all data on a computer without changes. The main thing is to pre-create without waiting for problems, create images with all the data we need and store them in a safe place. On third-party hard drives or in cloud storages, choose what you want, but take care in advance without waiting for problems. This is very important. After all, a saved data disk image can be quickly and easily restored in just 5 to 10 minutes. In this video, we showed only one of the features of the Acronic True Image program, and on the website you can learn about its other useful features. If you need additional explanations, ask in the comments and you will be answered. Thanks for attention. Good luck.